Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Janet. How are you today? Thank you, Becca. Oh, I'm so excited. What a show we're going to have today. Yep. You, you all that are on this show don't know what you're in for. You are going to get the show of a lifetime here, I swear. I'm so, I've got chills up and down. Yes. How about you, Vivica? Oh, me too. Oh, me too. I just met this wonderful lady. I never met her before, and I just had a short talk with her. And I'm telling you, this is powerful stuff. She is the real deal. Yes. The information she is coming. Did. She knew totally. stuff about me that I've, I never met her before. So this is a blessing. <laughs> this is a blessing. So I'm it excited. So why don't you introduce her, Janet? Yes. Well, Donna Marie is, is a very, she's a beautiful person, a friend of mine. We've been friends for quite a few years now. And um, I've done lots of work with Donna Marie. She is a light worker, a medium, a facilitator of, of transformational energy. She brings in through her guides. She connects with so many different levels of guidance, the divine light consciousness, ascendant masters, you know, healing masters, angelic realm, archangels, um, ancients, high priestesses, Celtic goddesses, the galactics. I mean, she's connected with the Galactic Federation of Worlds. She's amazing. I mean, I, I can't say enough about Donna Marie. And what we're going to do is let Donna Marie tell you about her because Donna Marie is telling you her journey, how she came to what she's doing now, and you can't miss it. it I'll tell you, it's going to be absolutely fabulous. So <laughs> welcome, Donna Marie. Hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. That was such a beautiful, beautiful intro. I'm humbled. I feel like, oh my God, you know, how do you follow up from that? <laughs> so yes, um, <laughs> I hope you guys can see me clearly because for me, the video is in slow motion. But as long as you can hear me, really, that's the only thing that matters. Um, just thank you, first of all, for asking me to come on the show today. And as we were talking before coming on, um, whenever I do, I had, I had done quite a few podcasts in 2020, almost burnt out from them because it takes a lot when you're channeling that kind of high vibratory energy all the time. It's difficult on the physical body and, um, I, I overdid it. <laughs> it will look extremist being a Piscean that I am. It's like all or nothing. So I learned very quickly that all is too much. So I, I dialed back in 2021 and then I, in 2022, I just said, I don't want to do anything. They actually pulled me back, my team. So my team that I work with, I call them management. They had pulled me back and said, we need to work on you. There's a lot of refinement, a lot of uh, energy up. They just basically took me in <laughs> and worked on me to said, so you've done enough. We're going to pull you back. We need to work on you. And then we're going to put you back out when it's time. And I'm like, how will I know that goal? You'll be invited to something and then you're going to know it's time. I'm like, okay. So that's how them. I just listen and follow their guidance. And, um, when Jana had asked me to come on to this, it was, I think in the beginning of the summer and I was like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I will. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll dip my toes back in again. And when I was going to bed last night, so I do do, you know, connections before I go to sleep. And then I'm lying in bed and they were showing me what they wanted me to visualize. They do a lot of visual work with me. I'm very visual. So they show me a lot of things and they were showing me what they were holding, hosting for the show today. And when they showed it to me, I was like, oh shit, you know, this is <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, we're, we're showing it to you now, <laughs> you know, like, because you need to know. And then I was like a little intimidated, like, oh, what's coming? So then they're like, it's fine, it's fine. It's good, just go, go, go do it. And we're gonna do all that we need to do. So just to brief you quickly on how I, I can't even say work, I don't know, how I process energy is that I did start as a medium. So I was receiving information and I was asked to be a facilitator to share this information with others. Uh, when I started doing the podcasts uh, and the telesummits in 2020, the intention that my team wanted of me was to be placed in different situations, uh, different environments across the world and have access to many people so that they can receive the resonance of the information that would come through me. So a lot of the work that they do is through frequency and resonance. A lot of it, I don't even know what they're doing while they're doing it. And for every summit that I had, they said to me, just do your grounding and your connectedness. We just need you in your vibration. So I, I do move from a very high vibration 
and I just need to hold space so they can come in and do the work that they need to do, what needs to be facilitated through me. So I really am a facilitator of transformational energy because the energy that they do bring through me is to come forward and offer transmutation, clarity, or reactivation of vibrational energy to reset frequencies. So their processing is very fast, very, very fast. And um, it's an immediate, like this is, they're always telling me it just, it's now, it's now, it's all done. So you just have to allow it. So we're moving out of that 3D. Uh, go, uh, done. <laughs> like, what, what? Like, yeah, it's that easy. It is that easy, but it's in a frequency where it's all now, now, now. And so we're moving out of the uh, linear way of, you know, dot, dot, dot and equal. And now it's like, no, see it, breathe it, feel it, release it, done. So we're understanding how it works in a higher field of consciousness. The intention of my work has been made very clear to me. And I actually don't even call it work because it's truly a vocation. Like I really do understand that I am created for this. My body and my energy and what I align to is designed to support this. And the intention of what is being asked of me and what I have agreed to as well is to return the sovereignty to humanity. You'll bring people back to their sovereignty, their, their true essence, their true power. We have become so powerless and incredibly so over the last two and a half years. And it's to remind people of their power their inner power, their personal power, and how they are the co-creators of their abundance. So if any area of your life, you're not feeling that return, that abundant return, and it's our birthright, by the way, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be in joy and peace and calm and alignment. And if so, we, you know, whatever area that you're not aligned to, they bring you back very quickly to get you back on your set point, back in connection to your soul's essence. And what, from that place, it's not a place of doing, it's a place of being. It's learning how to come in every day, connect for every day, and then allow what is meant to unfold through you. So you do have your own divine intelligence, divine wisdom, and divine gifts that are innately yours. They're in the soul's blueprint. And you've gathered them from other lifetimes, timelines, realms, dimensions, and you are in this very specific lifetime to allow specific gifts and abilities to step forward and be in service to yourself, your abundance, your joy, your light, and the collective. So we are all here for the collective and raising conscious awareness for collective. And this is how they do it through me. They use me as Wi-Fi. That's their nickname for me. They call me their Wi-Fi. And I just come in and just find people to reclaim their light and their joy in whatever feels abundant and happy for them. That's it. When you, they call you Wi-Fi, that just makes me laugh because you're so much more than just Wi-Fi, Donna Marie. So much more. <laughs> <laughs> but um, do we want to say our sacred space prayer, or do we want to? Because we didn't set the space, so I, I know Donna Marie sets her own before she comes. But I'd like to. We like to set it for the group. So, do we want to do a quick one? Do you want to do it, Vivica? Or do you want me to? Yes, I'm, I'm watching the chat. So if you don't mind. Okay, I'm sure. Watching. All right, so I'm going to do it a, a little different. So I'm going to just say Father, Mother, Gods, Creator of all that is. Uh, beings of light who are here for us today. I am asking for the most benevolent outcome to this session today. We are asking you to spin our chakras in the right direction, spin our auras, allowing only the highest light to come through today sending us down, grounding us into the earth into the great central sun again spinning our chakras in the right directions and our auras allowing only the highest light and the highest consciousness to come through today making this information come from the heart and also to now send out that heart vibration that is going to surround us with that golden light of protection while we are in this space and that we will bring in whatever is the most impo important for today to be heard. And uh, Donna Marie, what is your intention for today's uh, session? That everyone receives exactly what they're meant to in alignment for their highest good. Okay. And uh, Vivica, anything would you like to say? That we all receive what we need. Thank you. And I also echo the same because it's such a powerful session today. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All beings of light who are here. We ask you to step back and we are ready in our sacred space for Donna Marie. Thank so you. where did you want to start today, Donna Marie? Okay. So you're I'm, handing it right. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I just want to make sure that the chat questions are coming in. So I've asked them to put a queue in front so I can easily, because there's a lot of messages. You have so many people who love you, Donna Marie. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. yes, They're does. just sending you hearts and love. And it's just, it's Aww. a beautiful, beautiful space. Just she watch does. the comments. So I'm going to start. If you're open to that, Donna Marie, I will start sharing some questions on the screen. So let okay. me just... Do the queue here just so I get up the questions. And here we go. Here's the first question. Can you see that? I'm gonna put my eyes. Uh, let me see if I can make it a little bit smaller for you. So I can probably read it. Uh, no, yeah, no. there you go. Yeah. Okay. One second. I have to make it even a little bit. We have to see all of it. That's it. Perfect. Perfect. Am I on my correct path? If not, what can I do to get there? or improve? How can I better communicate with my guide? And oh, there's three questions here. We asked for one. <laughs> you choose what do they have any message for me today? Thank you. So whatever you feel is the most important. Am I on my correct path? How do I get there? Improve? How can I better communicate with my guide helpers? What is my message for today? Okay, is this for me? You want me to yes. answer this? From Maret. Okay. Maret. Thank you, Maret. Maret. Okay. So I'm going to share this because this is a really good question. It's probably going to be very beneficial for everybody to receive. So am I on my correct path? First of all, there's no incorrect path. That's the first thing I'm going to share. So the path that we take will lead us to our greatest and highest good. So long as we're in alignment with the truth of our soul's essence. And if we're not, then we're going to go through a path. that's going to maybe bridge us back to there. If you are on your correct path, you will know. <laughs> You won't have to ask <laughs> because there will be an inner resonance. So you just feel like you're doing the right thing, whether it makes logical sense or not, it just feels right to you. And this is your innate knowing which belongs to you. And this is how you know you're on your right path, your right path. So if, you know, I would say to you, whatever it is that you're doing, are you happy? Does it light you up? Does it make you feel passionate and connected and joyful? And if your answer is yes, then yes, you're on your right path. And if your answer is no, then no, maybe you need to look at other things. So the path of least resistance is the most important. So whatever you feel, whatever inspires you, whatever lights you up, whatever you feel ticks all your boxes where you go, I just feel so good when I am doing this and this and this, this is an alignment to the truth of what you're here to share and gift of yourself. And so that would be in alignment with your right path. So, you know, if I would just, if people ask that question, is to come into the truth of your soul because your soul is here on this very specific journey and lending very specific gifts that are innately yours. And if you're confused about that, then I would say step into your soul, start doing meditation or a technique that's going to teach you how to ground and align and connect and listen from within because you're not going to find the information from outside. And we're going to go longer and longer looking and looking for it to go inward and listen to the whisperings and do it every day until the whisperings become nudges and then become louder and then become synchronicities and become a way of an unraveling of your life. But it's to know that you hold and contain everything that you need to live the full abundance of this lifetime. So if you're questioning things, then it's meant to be looking at what you're doing and maybe there's things that need to shift and change. Mm -hmm. But the, um, the direction is to go by what feels right. If this feels good to you and you feel inspired from it and it's bringing joy to you and that which you're, you know, extending your energy towards really important that you're giving out good energy and it's being brought back to you. And if it's not, then you're not doing the right thing. So it's about how joyful do you feel when you're doing it? And it doesn't matter what the job is. It doesn't matter the salary, the position. You can have a very high position and make a lot, a lot of money and be very unhappy in that what you're doing. It might not be in the resonance of your soul. So when you say, am I on the correct path? Ask yourself if this path that you're on is bringing you happiness. And if it's not bringing you happiness, go into your heart and ask yourself what makes you, lights you up and brings you passion, because that's the key. And then on how can I better communicate with my guide and my helpers to find um, a routine every day where you can go inward, ground and connect, align to your soul, your, you know, your, your human spirit, uh, your personality and your spirit come into alignment, come into union with them and move from there and start listening, calling in your team, asking them to step forward and be in service to you. So, you know, you have free will and your free will trumps everything. So it's important to be mindful that you have to call them in for them to be in service to you. So you have to call them and ask them to step in and be supportive to you. So show me the way or I always say close the doors on the things that aren't for me and open the doors on the things that are. 
and I'm going to just do me and let the rest unfold. So there's a bit about releasing and a letting go and trusting and allowing. But when you are in your alignment and you're connected to your soul, there's a sense of joy and happiness and ease. And that should be your telltale point on whether or not you're in your soul's path. That's my answer. <laughs> hope that Thank helped. you. I hope that helped. That was beautiful. And I think that really resonates with a lot of us. And I'm sure for people watching, like you said, we really have to go within and listen and tune and take that time to sit down and really be in our own space and just to tune in and listen. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoy that. Thank you. So are you ready for a new one, Donna Marie? Yep. Yep. Okay. So here we go. Next question. Let me see if I can fit it in. Here we go. Oh, do you want to read it? Um, do you want to read it, um, Vivica? Sure. In a dilemma with health issue arising, need guidance. Do I have to have the op? What's that? I don't know. Is it Any guidance on this? Just feeling alone and a little uneasy. Please, God bless you, Donna Marie. Okay, a little dilemma with my health issues. <clears throat> Maybe uh, is it meant to be have an operation or? Yeah, it feels like an operation. So, okay, um, okay it's loose because it's not saying what it's for. So there's some kind of a hindrance in her physical body. That's yeah. I'm going there. Actually, they're bringing me right to her hormones. So I feel like her energy is low. Her adrenals are slow. There's uh, it feels like an autoimmune issue. Um, and it is impacting her vitality, her health, and also her joy. I feel like her joy is being snuffed by this. It's like it's heavy. So this activation today is actually going to be good to give you permission to release and let go of the energies you're holding on to. You know, I always say this super clear. I am not a doctor, and I'm not going to tell you whether you should or should not have an operation. If there's something that needs to be facilitated and assisted through a medical procedure, by all means, <laughs> follow that consultation and have it done. However, super, super important to understand when a dis-ease comes forward in the body, it's with an emotional repression, okay? So whatever created that dis-ease, there's an emotional connection to it. So this you can let go of. This is where the healing takes place. So a doctor could come in and maybe clear out the, the uh, underlying, the issue, but the underlying issue is the emotional issue that must be healed so that this doesn't come back around again. So it would be for you to go in and um, whatever the issue is, I don't know what it is, to look at when it started, what was happening in your life when it started. Actually, they're bringing it down to when you were a young child and it impact. This comes back to hormones again, so I don't know. There's something with your uh, autoimmune system. But there's an emotional connection to it. There always is. And if you can address that, see it for what it is, allow it to be and let it go because there's an underlying pain. This hurts me. This hurts me. So I feel like there's a, also inflammation that shows up. So if you can just address it and release it because there's this resistance to letting it go. So good that you're here on the call today, Angel, and uh, let whatever they're going to come in and do. I do not know. I never know. <laughs> I'm really just holding space for them to come in and do it. But I feel that if anything that you feel ready doesn't have to be conscious, you know, you can be just conscious, I let go subconsciously, anything that does not serve or support me, I let it go. But there's an emotional issue connected to it. So if you want to reach out to me independently, we can speak about that, I'd be happy to. But, um, you know, if there's something that physically needs to be taken care of, you must address the physical issue. But if you don't address the emotional issue, that could show back up again. That's my best answer for you. Mm. Thank you. I hope that helps. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm going to keep going until you tell me to stop, Donna Marie, okay? Uh -huh. so, okay. So here we go. The next one. Do I need to remember my soul purpose or I should just live as humanly as I can? Where is my soulmate and will we meet in this lifetime? <laughs> <laughs> I need to write a book. Small question. Yes, you do. <laughs> write a book. <laughs> Yes, you, I think okay. you can do I'm it pretty easily, Donna Marie. About the question, okay? No, it's, it's a huge a question. That we get all the time. You know, I feel like, um, do I need to remember my soul's purpose? Well, I, you know, we all come here with a soul's intention. And we're here to live and express the full expression of our soul's intention. So, yes, I feel like it's important for everyone 
to go in and gather, you know, okay, how can I say this? How everyone has their own DNA for their blood, how everyone has their own uh, fingerprint. It's the exact same thing for your soul. And your soul has gathered information, intelligence, gifts, abilities from other lifetimes and experiences, timelines, and it is held within your soul's blueprint. Actually, they call it gold print now, but I'm going to use blueprint because everyone is oh, understanding I that. I but, love that. Do they really call it gold yeah, print? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Golden Golden age. Golden age. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, uh, but it's because oh. it's the gold print that's you coming froze. forward. It's the rebirthing of this old wisdom that is being being brought back to consciousness. So it's whatever we hold in our gold print that is meant to be resurfacing. So for sure, it's important to know, you know, and again, it's all starts with going in, grounding every day, sitting within yourself, listening from within and allowing your soul to start speak and show you the way out. So yes, yeah, super important that you allow your soul to, to show you, you'll be in the showing through the experiences of who you are. And then you said, or should I just live as human? Well, I mean, li you know, live as happily as possible. That would be mm -hmm. my answer to everybody. Because when you're happy, you're in alignment with your soul, your essence, you, your blueprint, it's all connected. It's, everything is interconnected. So your level of happiness, your happiness bar is really indicative to your soul's vibration. As I can, and where is my soulmate? And will I meet him in the, or will I meet them? Sorry, sorry, you know him or her in this lifetime. Okay. I'm going to share something. This is not going to be good news for everybody. <laughs> we have some, have some designed people that are meant to come into our lives that we're going to learn from. And they can be romantic. And if they are, uh, they're usually teachers. If you're a big light worker or you carry a lot of energy, you usually have big experiences through romantic uh, expressions. They're not all good, but they're all inspirational. <laughs> so they're good for you. Okay. Um, I feel like... Uh, you can probably run into twin flames quite regularly, but I feel like soul divine counterparts I've been made to feel are not as regular and it's dependent really on you, your energy, how much you've expanded, what your consciousness is. And if you are like in your empress consciousness, then you will call in your emperor. But, um, important to be mindful that, you know, wherever you are vibrationally, that's what you're signaling out. And that is what is going to be returned to you. So if you're in a process of life where you're not where you want to be and you're not in your full happiness and you're not, not everything is going at hundred percent in every area of your life. Well, then that's exactly what would be returned to you. And sometimes universe is so kind and saying, yeah, well, let's get her, let her get there because she deserves more than that. And so you might be a little quiet in the dating scene but it's more important you know they always say this love yourself first you know give to yourself first because then you have to give to others and that is so 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 true and it's not to not want someone to come in and be a counterpart or beautiful harmony to your song but it's really important that you know your song mm, <laughs> and yes. that you love your song and that you can stand and sing your song a cappella, baby okay <laughs> so yes yes <laughs> And then bring in the orchestra and the instruments and all that that accompanies it. So I feel that when you are really happy in your life, really enjoying your life, and then you're sending out a really different signal, and that's the kind of counterpart or relationship that you'd like to enter your life, you know, that you'd like to have. I always say shoulder to shoulder. I don't want anything below my shoulder. I'd like something above my shoulder because I actually would like to learn from my person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, at least eye to eye, you know. <laughs> Um, exactly. they don't have to be in my likeness, but I definitely want them in their likeness. So there has to be some vibrational alignment and frequency. So I feel like if you're looking for someone, look for yourself first, you know, work on yourself first, generate your happiness, generate all the things in your life that you want going well for you. And then it will just line you up with the right person. And I always say, you know, when they pull people away, it's not, you know, I always say for my highest good, for my highest good. So. If this is for my highest good, I allow it. And if it is not, please redirect it. And then I sit back and I allow. Um, we put so much importance on having a significant other. And that's wonderful because it's really great to share life experiences with that person. But it's really important that you cultivate that relationship with yourself first. Fundamentally important.
because we don't know how long this person may be or not be in our lives, but we know that we're going to be with ourselves for the rest of our lives. So mm -hmm. that's <laughs> worth investing. <laughs> a hard truth, huh? That's a hard truth. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that would be my answer. I hope that I think you. that was beautifully said oh, because I think a lot of people actually are questioning exactly what is my um, or my soulmate or my twin flame. I hear that all the time. Instead mm. of looking inside and really tuning in words and finding out who you are and in that true love to who you are. And so attracting or sending out that signal so that people can come into your life at the exact exactly. moment, the divine moment. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to add one more. I'm going to try to read it here. Um, I am wondering if you please can give me a little information about my future here on earth. I feel I am evolving. I feel I am doing my purpose, but I also feel I am completely stuck. Mm. <laughs> That's well said. Well said. Yeah. Welcome to summer 2022. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is that what <laughs> they're saying? All are. Nipson, you're all there right now, but thank you for I putting swear. it in words. <laughs> there. there that I have seen over and over again with my own king with and with myself personally. So uh, it's like that stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. Or we get into a place where there's a stagnancy. Okay, you guys are all frozen. So I don't know if you're still receiving well, keep talking. We can me hear or not. Okay. So I'm going to keep you're talking, frozen, yeah. keep talking. <laughs> and no, hope that uh, it's not completely cut off. Yeah, that's a big energy. No, no, you're through. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just saying that was big on. energy that came in it kind of blocked something there ah okay well we have a lot of heavy just energy that. big good energy coming in today there you go that was all ground here all so we can break lot to be bottom to breeze through. okay i'm going to answer that question i feel like everything you're doing is in alignment to your truth is in alignment to your awareness I also feel like there's a bit of an ostracization with you. That was a big word coming out of my mouth. Uh, <clears throat> like, you know, you feel disconnected from a lot of people and yet you have quite clear resonance and understanding of who you are. They're saying continue on, continue on. Things will become more clear and will be better understood in time. And they're saying it's not meant for you to understand all of it, but you will understand better as you go. So I do feel like stay committed to what it is that you're doing. You do have a very strong clarity and I feel like you have a very strong um, the support that is pushing you along. It's like walking with a blindfold and you're trusting in the path of it. And it is correct. You're very, very connected. I feel like this woman is very connected to Arcturia. I'm going to tell you that. Mm -hmm. I think this is and a group she's of got a mission and she's doing it. like, she's on a mission. She doesn't know what her mission is, but she's doing it. So continue doing it. Whatever it is, it's meant to unfold and it will be shown to you and expressed to you in time. Trust, trust, trust. That's your message. Okay. Wow. Guys, Ooh. I have lost you. Was no, you didn't. You You're still here. We can see frozen. you. We see you perfectly. You're on the you. screen I'm just like going right on. perfectly. Don't worry. No, don't touch anything. You're fine here. Check in on uh, my phone, Chris, uh, Janet. We can hear you, Donna Marie. Can you hear us? Yeah, I don't know if she's can she can uh, Donna Marie, can you hear me? I don't think she can. Hmm. We see her. We can hear you, Donna Marie. Uh, I'm going to text her. My future. I'll text her real quick so she yeah, can Yeah, do that. that. Text her real quick. And yeah, I'll just go through the chat that. for a moment. So I'm just sure. going to mute the ladies just for a moment. So now I'm the only one you can hear. So they will try to get in contact. Uh, we're moving down the line. So the next one, when we get Donna Marie back, will be Hanna. We will take your question next as soon as we got Donna Marie back in... Uh, Let's see here if she can hear us now. So are you both hearing me or? I can hear you perfectly, Vivica. I don't okay. I can see and hear uh, Donna Marie, yeah. but I don't know if she can hear us. Yeah, doesn't look Answer like she can, me. but she now everything looks pretty good. So it's pretty okay, good. She cannot see or receive. She's not getting any of it. Okay, so let's see. She, does she want to try to log on and log on or log off and log on? Do you want to log off? Log we can do off. that. We'll just move over we here for a moment. 
this is what happens. There's a lot of energy in motion right now. And we yes. just have to be patient. I'm sure that we will get Donna Marie back up. Yeah, she came one out. She went out. So yeah, she's going to go out now. Okay. Well, I hope everyone is enjoying this. I think Donna Marie is going to be, I mean, I think the energy here is so big today. That is why it's a little difficult. Donna Marie's in Canada. I'm in the United States and you're in Norway. So we're all in different uh, areas of the world. So understand this is, a, this is big, you know, when the universe is bringing things in, it's coming in from all directions. So um it's powerful what she's bringing through. And I love that last answer when she, well, the soulmate one was so interesting because um, when we were talking about soulmates, I keep receiving that we were always looking outside for our complement of who we are. When to be, to really get our true complementary person, we have to be complete someone in ourselves to love, like John Marie said, love ourselves so much that that frequency is going to attract the best person to us. So it's all about working on yourself and don't worry about the other person coming around. They're going to show up when you're least expecting it because you are so ready when you're ready. And that there's no telling when that is. It's when you're done with the work you're meant to do to get to that next level, to bring that next person in. That's how I, that's how I understand it. And so you back Donna Marie. I am. I am. Yay. <laughs> Yes. So, Let's perfect. just jump uh, in with the next question while we got you here. <laughs> Let's do that. Gonna, how long do you think? Well, the act, this is going to go for at least an hour, right? Because yes. Donna Marie is going to do the activation and the, uh, the, the clearing. Yeah, so, so let me just check the chat. Had enough questions. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is the last question and we'll move on. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is my life goal considering the job that supports my highest purpose in this life? That's, Hana, or Hane. Beautiful. Great question. What is my life goal? Okay, these are big questions. So again, I'm going to come back to how I answered the other one. <laughs> yep. Your life's goal, the alignment of your soul's um, inspiration. Okay, that would be your life. Well, okay, hold on, hold on. They're going, wait a second, hold on. Your life's goal. You can have many goals in life, depending on the different. Yeah, froze again. Um, and so we have different yeah, goals. You're going in and out. Can you... Pardon me? You were, you were going in and out. Could you repeat what you said, please? Yeah, that we have different goals at different times of our lives. So we're not mm -hmm. here with just one goal. We may have just one purpose. So the purpose of our soul's essence may have its own divine intention of what it wants you to co-create during this lifetime but we have different goals goals that can bring us to the essence of our purpose and again how do you know it's always about what makes you feel in your highest vibration so if you're doing something and it's bringing you the greatest amount of joy and pleasure and happiness then it's in alignment to the truth of your soul's essence but if you have different goals at different timelines it's very normal People actually who are uh, light beings, and this, everyone is a light being to variants of degrees, um, usually have a lot of gifts and a lot of abilities, and they usually do a lot of things in their life. So it's not like you only have one talent or only one gift, and that's the only thing that you do. You may have very many, but there's going to be one that's going to be constantly showing back up. That's like the underlying recurring pattern of what is meant to be expressed in this timeline. It doesn't mean it's the best of what you do it's the best of what you're be meant to bring forward for this timeline so again it comes back to going in and grounding listening and connecting from within and allowing the nudgings of whatever's meant to be birthed because sometimes these energies are in gestation they're dormant and they are, haven't been activated yet and they do get activated through light energy so as you align and allow more divine light energy to come into your physical being, whatever's meant to be reactivated will be reactivated. And then it's a natural procession of it unfolding. Everything that you do in divine alignment to you unfolds. Mm. That's how you. I think that was beautiful said and a perfect ending to, oh, to that. That, that, was, was, that was really, really good. Okay. okay, so would so, you like to um, do the activation, Donna Marie? Or, or clearing? Is it the clearing? Or clearing, first? maybe? Yeah. Oh, I'm so afraid it's going to get cut off. 
because well, we're good. I just I'm I'm working with the energy while you, before you, we even started to help it stabilize here because I could feel yeah, that we were going it's, in. It's very powerful. We would be it's so high that we needed to really ground to bring this through. So let's just you and me, Vivica, okay, hold, hold the it, space uh, for her to bring this through. Okay, because this is big. Listen, listen, you know, they're, they're, yeah. Uh, they're going here's where you're acting human they're what? because it's all been done. It's being done. They go, this is where you are acting human. They're laughing. I love it. <laughs> it's already all being done. Okay? Well, so just, it's all we know. Us it's all we know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so it's just to allow us to hold the vibrational space, to allow the energy to come in. They're already telling me right now that all those who are present and those who will be on the Ooh, this is going to be played and played and played. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of replays, replays, replays. And uh, so all energy is transient and everything is going to be received at the time that you're meant to receive it. Remember this. Okay. Uh, energy is always in a state of motion. You are always in a state of motion. So you could listen to this today and depending on your vibrational alignment is to see exactly what they're meant to receive for their grace and highest good. So they're telling me right now that this activation is to lift and clear heavy densities and dormant energy. <clears throat> energy that has been weighing people down, keeping people stuck. So those of you who are saying I'm feeling stuck or I don't want to move forward. So this has been a recurring pattern through this, the whole theme of the summer, summer where people are feeling uh, all on their way in the nook or confused or alignment to that anymore. There's a lot of confusion, confusion. So they're saying they're coming in to clear up the confusion, distortion. They're saying there's a lot of frequency distortions that need to be reset and realigned. This is going to be a continuous. They're showing me now till end of January 2023. There's a lot of high uh, magnetic fields that are constantly, constantly shifting, changing, and then boom, impacting. So our bodies are going through these waves of uh, turbulence. We might not be cognitive of it. This is them talking. They're explaining this before we go into the activation. We may not be cognitive of it, but it's impacting us really impacting your sleep. They're saying it's really impacting your hormone system. It's impacting also your digestive system. So I feel like foods that you were normally able to eat or ingest easily or digest easily, it's kind of creating a little bit of a, it's, it's the whole body. They're going, the whole body is going through a sequence of frequency adjustments. Yes. And I they're here totally to clear out disturbances and the missile not a misalignment it's just it's not aligned anymore okay mm. and so these low densities of energies that need to be lifted carbon densities that need to be released and also they're going to as they clear out they're going to make space so know that they can only lift and clear that which you're willing to release and let go of. and we'll do mm -hmm. an opening prayer to allow you to give permission for them to come in and facilitate for you they always work within the parameters of what you're capable of receiving and they always work for your highest good they won't take you outside of that they don't have that permission I make sure that everything is done in accordance for your highest good. Yes. And that, that they want the same as well, of course. So this is to clear a lot of heavy, dense energy. They're also saying that as we, you know, as we replay this, um, the, there's a, um, they're showing me an undercurrent, like a signal that's going to go out and create a new vibrational resonance to bring a sense of groundedness and foundational groundedness. They're saying to humanity, it's kind of like a, a grounding cable is how they're showing it to me. So as they pull out and transmute, so just note that energy cannot, uh, you can't destroy it, but you can clean it and neutralize it. And this is what they're coming in to do. So these dense, it's really funny. They're showing me each person coming into this call. I feel like everyone's coming from a different area because they're showing me all these different points of light across the earth. And then they're showing me all these different points of light in in the um, universe and then there's this great big i'm just going to give you the visual so whoever is visual and then i'm going to let them come in and do the clearing they're just going to do the preset so there's a great big 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 white circular band uh, it's really oh, powerful high vibrational uh i know it's a circle but mm. there are no lines i can't see a direct line it's movement it's just movement and it's emanating this very strong white light it's a, the divine light mm. it's a christ conscious uh, divine light energy and there's a golden wisdom that's moving with it there's currents and frequencies and these are high 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 vibration they can't bring it down but they're asking those who 
uh, are here that can support the energy, align to the energy and connect with the energy, you're going to become anchors for this. Hmm, interesting. So you're going to be anchoring this energy in through your soul's divine light blueprint being called for. This is intentional. Oh, this is something that was already preset. <laughs> so as I see this moving, hmm, there's like they're showing me four points, uh, four stars outside of the white circle and it's it's signifying north north south east west so this is going out everywhere and there's going to be a resonance and an eminence that's going to continue so this is a vibrational frequency that they're bringing into the physical world to allow for a new kind of grounding and this is going to help humanity those who are making the ascension feel connected, grounded, balanced, and aligned, and understanding, like a resurrection of their truth, a resurrection of their understanding and their awareness. Okay, they're ready. Let's go. So I'm going to ask everybody right now. I just like opening with a prayer to give them permission to step in on your heart, and they're moving quickly, so we're just going to do this quickly, okay? So I'm going to ask you to raise your palms up. Your palms are portals. Mm. And so we're just going to give them permission to step in on your behalf, Father, Mother, God is meant and appropriate. We call upon the highest and the purest of Christ conscious divine light energy. And we're asking for all those who are meant to step forward on our behalf for our greatest and highest good. Be brought forward in divine light of the highest and the purest only. Asking for each and every one of us to receive for our greatest and highest good. Also asking for the integration of the violet flame and for the interdimensional light working systems to be blessing, healing, clearing, and transmuting. All energy, entity, spirit, or souls, anything we are holding on to, anything that is lowering us, depleting us, and not allowing us to step into all of our light, all of our clarity, and all of our wisdom, and to safe, now to bless it, heal it, clear it, transmute it, release it, let it go. So take a deep breath in. And they're going to start moving the energy out. So they're bringing in a circular uh, golden ring. <sighs> it's like the ring that they're showing me up on top, but they're bringing it through, through the crown. They're coming down through your spine, up, back out again. And they're allowing for the integration, the transmutation, the clearing, and the releasing. So they're coming in and they're going to be moving through your central column through the permission of their highest good, always in accordance with the divine light, always as meant and appropriate. As we let go, we allow, giving them permission to step in on your behalf. You are all being representatives of light. This is what they are saying to us. Uh, known or unbeknown, like, you know, oh, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. So they're uh, allowing this golden light to come in and it's moving counterclockwise. So I feel like they're going backwards. Okay, backwards in time, your time, your timelines. And this is also making me feel very, very much energetic timelines of um, lineage, 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 uh, ancestral lineage, ancestral bloodlines. So yes, in order to make this ascension, there's a clearing and a healing that needs to take place of past karma being re, you know, brought back up again, brought back up again. So they're saying, Everything that is meant to be brought to light, brought to fruition, brought to uh, a healing, close, 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 close. Allowing all that is no longer in service to us, that does not support us, that stops, blocks, or does not allow us to step into our light, our clarity, our wisdom, the safe to bless it, heal it, clear it, transmute it, release it, and let it go. So everyone take a nice deep, 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 deep breath in. And you do not need to go into your mind. You do not need to think of what it is that you're going to release. You're just really allowing yourself to open up and be a vessel of divine light. And you're going to allow for the purification. Really, they're showing me very strongly family bloodlines that need to be cleared, healed, healed. So, you know, uh, there's a karmic, um, there's a density in the uh, in the field, the energetic field of the earth where this karmic re-imprinting keeps taking place. And they're saying, so in order for this higher vibrational ascension, that energy has to be cleared and released. And so often there's one person that comes in to represent the family uh, line and they will be the one to end repetitive patterns that are meant, that are not meant to move forward. Okay, so they're doing this now. And they're also coming in and showing me, um, well, they're bringing me to the lungs and they're showing me the balance. They're, 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 it's like doing pedals, like piano pedals. And so they're pumping on the pedals and it's the lungs. And it's like the yin and the yang, um, the masculine and the feminine. And they're uh, where women feel like they have to do everything and be the masculine and the feminine. They're bringing it to a balance and where the men feel like they can't connect with their feminine. So they're bringing both of it to a balance, like that you feel you know, your divine light, your divine masculine, your divine feminine, and that it comes into a really nice balance for you so that you have that uh, masculine energy when it is in service to you and you have the divine feminine energy when it is in service to you. 
and they're kind of bringing it so that it's just like, you know, it's that ball that it just moves as it is needed, the way it is necessary for you. So, you know, if you felt like you had to be more one than the other, this is going to give you the opportunity to just come into a nice grounded alignment and allow everything to work. They're bringing everything with flow, flow, flow and ease, flow and ease. So as we lift and let go of all that is no longer in service to so any encumbrance, patterns, repetitive patterns, patterns of self-sabotage, repetitive patterns of self-sabotage. And there's a lot of like what's been imposed upon us, so religion, truths, cultural truths that are not yours, that you don't, you don't uh, align to. It's because they're not. So false, false, not impo imposed, but not yours. So um, anything you've been carrying or caring for others that does not serve or support you, there's a lot of cultural stuff here. It's safe to bless it, heal it, clear it, transmit it, it, release it, let it go. They're pulling apart, like they're taking religion, they're pulling away, they're taking culture, they're pulling it away. And they're saying, they just want you to see this light. Just see this light. Just look at this light. It's a beautiful, vibrant, gold, white light. And they're going, that is what you are, star light. Star light, this is who you are. You are the light of this. And all this is, is you. So it's showing you the beauty of you, the perfectness of you, you know, divinely perfect. And allowing you to feel safe, releasing through the breath anything that has become an, an encumbrance. So whether it be in your <coughs> health, whether it be in your emotional health, whether it be in your um, spiritual struggle, okay, of stepping back in to your soul's essence, your soul's beauty, your soul's alignment, whatever has been obstructing, lowering, blocking, or congesting you with this breath. Take a deep breath in. And just let it go. Hey, Javin, I'm gonna don't mind to turn off your mic. <laughs> I love you, but turn it off just for now. Okay, so we're clearing and transmuting all of the energy that is being lifted and clear, lifted and clear. They're showing me a pool of water um, that's kind of surrounding you. And they're saying that this water is there for you to go and rinse yourself of all that you do not want to carry, anything that you do not feel you want to bridge forward in your life, in your beauty, in your truth, in your abundance. And in any area of your life where you do not feel abundant, let it go. Take a deep breath in and release it. And allow the waters to purify and clear what is no longer yours to be burdened with. So they're doing a little whirlpool of violet light around your ankles. And they're just releasing what you are allowing to be released. So nothing is through force. It's whatever you're ready to let go of now and it's to be mindful that you know we don't so you do the healing the energy is here but you're allowing for the healing whatever needs to be healed clear transmuted and released and um if it comes back up again then there's a residue of that and just continue to release continue to let go continue to allow so they're doing a lot of carbon density clearing right now. They're clearing out a lot of energies, density of energies, and they're not just yours. This is showing me karmic as well, family bloodline as well. <sighs> Residue of energy that isn't yours, but it's impacted on your cellular structure. And so they're clearing it out so cells can be flushed of dormant energy, karmic energy, and life energy. Like a lot of imprints, a lot of like imposed upon. Clear, 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 clear. They're also showing me that those have, who have intergalactic families and have lived in extraterrestrial uh, lifetimes uh, and feel ostracized while they're on the physical earth, they're going to make stronger connections with you now so that you have greater understanding of who you are and what you have come to chose, choose to do to bridge to this timeline, this lifetime in your soul's essence, your soul purpose. So there's going to be an awakening. There's going to be an understanding. There's going to be a reactivation. So wherever there has been cells that are dormant, uh, they weren't ready to be brought forward. The world was not ready for you. So now this is, there's a gestation period that's going to be taking place because they're showing me that there's going to be, they're igniting those that are meant to be ignited for, for now. And then if there's going to be a gestation period, and I see six months, nine months, 12 months, 18 months. So it's like, it's going to come forward, okay? And they're making a lot of space within your physical body to hold more light energy. First thing I'm feeling is joy. Like, oh, it feels good to let this go, you know? And allow yourself to make room for more of your light and allow the light to expand. They're also bringing ease and they're bringing in patience. So we live in a very impatient world. Like, we want, want, want everything now. They're asking you to breathe that out and breathe in the light of allowance, of calm, of serenity, of peace, of awareness.
of understanding, allowing these energies to support you and act as the foundation to the truth that is you, the light that is you, and all that you are here to live, express, and experience for your greatest and highest good, living the full abundance of all of your gifts and abilities in every area of your life, that you get to live, know, express, and experience the full abundance that is you, and that you allow everything to come from within. It is in the being that we receive and to allow that beautiful ebb and flow, <sighs> letting go, you know, how is this going to happen? What's it going to happen? Let it go. Do you every day, align up to you every day and allow that light to come in and serve and support you. And it will just unfold. This is what they want you to have understanding with. They're pulling away a lot of the old energy. It's been lifted and cleared, and there's there's a continuity, so it's not over. I feel like after you get off this call, they're going to continue doing whatever is meant to be done. This is how they work. They come in and just facilitate until it has been facilitated. So they're thanking you to stand in behalf of your family, your family bloodline, and who you have come to be in support of the vibrational consciousness that is meant to be birthed in this new reality we call Earth, bringing it to understanding, bringing it to awareness and allowing everyone to make their journey in alignment to the truth that is their, their truth. They're bringing in a beautiful stream of golden divine light energy. It's bringing right through your central column. As you breathe, it just expands through you and it, it will ignite and light every well, they're showing me on a molecular level, so it feels like it's going in cellularly, uh, moving and activating. Uh, birthing new cells, they're bringing in new cellular DNA as well. They're bringing that in also. So as they make room, clearing the carbon density, clearing the energies that were holding you down <clears throat> in any way these new light energy is going to come into uh they're showing me like a little whirlwind of facilitation you're going to feel after this they're making me feel like lighter almost they're saying be careful a little bit spacey so don't work with any heavy machinery or don't go driving right away energy is really good at regrounding and recentering this energy but there's a little bit of like um, a looseness so just let it settle. You know, you go in dust and the dust particles go everywhere, but then it settles back down and you can just wipe it off. It's showing it to me like that. Like, just let everything happen. Each one of you is receiving really, really exactly as you're meant to receive for the now, the present time. And any questions that you have on how to move forward, they're saying, allow, allow, allow. Step within, anchor ground, align to you, align to your light, come back to the truth that is you and allow the wisdom that is you to be acknowledged, received, and then brought forward is a natural evolution of, of how it unfolds when you sit in and allow it instead of trying to make it happen. It doesn't work You're creating a resistance to the flow of the energy. So it's just release and allow. Okay. They're bringing in this great, big, beautiful, um, it's like a magenta pink. Um, hmm. It's a globe. They're putting it around everyone and it's being bathed with an incredible amount of maternal love, maternal light, maternal support, maternal. Uh, it's like, a, it looks like a, this is what I see. It looks like um, a candy apple, you know? It's hard and protective, but it's very soft and loving. It's very, very nurturing and very giving. It has a very Gaia grounded Mother Earth feel, like holding space for you, holding foundational support for you, and allowing the truth that is you to be acknowledged, seen, and recognized for yourself first. It must be seen for yourself first in order for it to be seen by others. So as you step into that which is you, align to that which is you, most importantly, allow that which is you. The rest unfolds. The rest unfolds. They're saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They're also very, you know, um, interplanetary. Uh, I feel like, you know, lack of a better word, presidents that are showing up for their identifying their planets and saying thank you, thank you, thank you. They don't, they're, like they're going, they don't understand the magnitude of what they're serving today. Mm. Incredible part of the ascension of humanity. And we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. They're bringing it to a close. 
their bowing in respect and gratitude. They have great honor and respect for all that is being done today and all that we've allowed for the facilitation of what is meant to be brought forward for the resonance of humanity and then the ascension of all that is meant to be brought forward to, you know, help us rise up and bring back that just meant, you know, divine love, divine peace, divine clarity, and divine wisdom. And they're kind of making everyone feel very soft and very almost sleepy because there's a lot of energy coming in and they're trying to facilitate it so that it feels soft and easy to receive. And it has been actually, but don't, <laughs> it will be impactful. So don't be surprised if you're knocked out after this call. <laughs> <laughs> they're just working on the sacral for everybody. They're giving a nice grounding. Uh, that you feel safe, that you feel protected, that you feel grounded, and that there's a sense of, um, without having to know, I know, you know, without having to see, I see, but just, I know, I know, it's that I know, the I am presence, you know, <sighs> and there's just to strengthen it for you, really strong connection here for everybody to really feel grounded and connected after this, and if you want to come back to it and listen to it whenever you feel disconnected, because they're showing me it's going to be a really nice grounding activation for everyone. So anytime that you feel any kind of disconnection, disalignment, or not connected to humanity, because a lot of us aren't um, having a human experience, you know, uh, I do feel like if you call forward um, whatever family is you are feel the strongest connection with, they will come forward and start to, you know, share with you and govern with you and support you in the understanding of what this mission is here. And what you've chosen to do because it's by choice okay they're doing this i'm sorry i'm just there i'm letting them do it it's really important they say this uh, this grounding is incredibly important they're using the black obsidian just letting you know and it's moving around like um like mercury <laughs> it's so soluble it's beautiful i'm watching it move And this is going to connect everybody to everything that they're meant to be connected with of the highest of the purest of Christ conscious divine light energy. Everything that is absent of the light, let me tell you, they put walls up to protect everybody here because there was shit that was trying to come in. They're showing it to me. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. Yeah, a beautiful lot of uh, angelic realm. Mm. Divinity, 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 and the divine that is you. Allow, 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 allow. Okay, they're still working. And yeah. <laughs> Well, I think everyone's going to be asleep when we come back on. <laughs> okay. They're finishing up. <laughs> They're funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're... They're pulling it out. And so what they're showing me is as they give you this grounding, they're uh, balancing out your frequencies so that it feels grounded all the way through, not just from the bottom, not just from the top. Some people have a tendency to go one way or the other. They're balancing it out. So, so as above, so as below, so as above, so as below, and extend it outward. And then shielding, sealing, blessing, and protecting of the highest and the purest is meant and appropriate. Thank you, 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 thank you. It was just said to me that some will be receiving information in their sleep, in their dreams, and others will be receiving. So I feel like families will be connecting with you. Good. We are done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So just, you guys can, you know, drink some water. Water is a really good way to come back into your physical body. Just give me a few minutes to come back in. And if you girls want to go ahead and chat, you can. Let me just come back in. I need my water. Yeah. Give you a moment. Okay. Uh, You're back, Janet was such a beautiful space oh my thank you so much i sneezed and when i was in healing school they said sneezing was like aligning with what was going on i said oh i'm in alignment here but i'm sorry <laughs> i didn't think i'm muting when i sneezed so i said okay i'm muting that <laughs> so i apologize on the noise <laughs> when you were releasing your breaths and i'm like oh was oh, it my <laughs> breath that was too loud okay yeah i was trying to i you always do my breath <laughs> I sure was. I always go. Yeah. Well, people know you've got to use your breath. So I was trying to, I guess I, I was being an example as well, both ways. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Marie, I just want personally say thank you so much for that beautiful, beautiful clearing. 
Um, that was really, really powerful. And your management is very present. And mm -hmm. one of my gifts is actually being a trans medium. And I, when you were channeling their messages, I, I don't know if anybody could see any orbs around here, but it was powerful. There was a lot of energy. When I'm speaking right now, I don't know if you sense it, but there's a lot going on. And mm -hmm. the beauty of what you were giving, the messages, really, really resonate. And for you who's watching that know me and followed me for many years, I know some of you are in my groups. We've been working on the Ascension part. Or we've had an Ascension trip in 2016 to Iceland where we all managed to rise and open a portal to Tresna, another planet, and how we were receiving um, activations. And we've um, activated crystals that is placed on mountaintops for the healing, bringing hope to humanity, using the elements, using, you know, the, the, everything, the elements and, the, and nature beings, if you wish. And what all that you brought today really just lifted everything into a new era. Could I, I, in the lack of better words, something shifted when you brought that energy down, that it was sort of released the old uh, part of that journey that we have been on and kind of released and opened the veil so that everything mm -hmm. became so much clearer. Like there was a little fog left and suddenly went. Whew. Yes, 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 yes. It was beautiful. It was so, I, I, oh, I, I wish we were, you know, sitting in the same room so we could sense I that together. <laughs> I was just, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. And facilitating these portals there were they, they did definitely pull brought in portals I, I saw them come beams of light coming in so it's like how they were saying it to me last night is this this vibration is so high they needed you know anchors so everyone who showed up mm -hmm. on the call today representing an, a grounded anchor where they can ground that portal into the physical earth because it went way past it went right past the center down to the bottom it's connected well, I, I, when they when I ground, they show me the second ocean, and then at the bottom of the second ocean is where they connect. And these were grounding cables that needed the anchors to support the vibration, because that vibration could not come down of its own volition. So we were here as grounding anchors, and now it has been integrated. And so, oof, my head. Um, <laughs> they're saying that. Uh, they just went like this. We've just shifted everything. Yes. Mm. I feel it. Yeah. When yeah. We facilitated whatever need, there was a rotation that took place. It's shifting the speed of energy. It's shifting the frequency of energy. It's also shifting time. Time is going to move much faster. So different things that were showing up for different timelines, the way they were going to be expressed, how they're going to, it's like a boom, 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 boom. Clear, 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 clear. Like everything oh, that comes to the opposite of it. Like, and then, then there's this. It, oh. It's moving it's faster to get, like, get it out, get it out, get it out. So kind of wonderful like to hear that. Oh, we need that so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. So much. Well, yeah. yeah, I was I was getting some visuals while you were doing it. I, I saw this brilliant light around us, like this. We were just like this luminescent light when you said like white. I saw white around me and then the gold coming in, then like gold filaments coming through. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was just beautiful. And feel when you said grounding, I'm like, okay, I'm allowing and, you know, feeling the energy coming in. It was just so, my hands were all lit up. And it was just so beautiful to feel what you sent through to all of us. Oh, it was, it was amazing. And um, I did some work with, uh, Donna Maria the other day. So I know what this was like. It was, it was so powerful to go through something similar again. And I, and, and I had a lot of congestion in my own like emotional chakra and she helped me clear it because mm -hmm. I could feel it. It was so, so I'm recommending if you, if you feel like you need more work, it's always wonderful to have a one-on-one -on -one session 
And uh, it definitely made a difference for me. And I, I'm feeling better a little, you know, it's still clearing. And now we have this one. So this is huge. And it's such, yeah. it's such great ascension Sorry. work. Um, oh, I like, yeah. Pardon me. What did you say? They, Donna they're Mark? showing me that what, what we did for you is very, this was like, we, we, like we all showed up for something to be, it was like, there's a project. You're going to show up at this time. And we're going to tell you what the project is. <laughs> this is how they make me feel about this thing. They just took place. It's so like, powerful. Yeah. I don't know. Well, come here if there's a project. Yeah. Do you know what the project is? No. Do you know what the No. 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 Do you know what the project is? Yeah. This big project. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's exactly how they're making me feel. It's... They're going to... You can't understand. Not with any disrespect. The magnitude of what was meant to be brought forward. They're saying, we don't need to know. They often say right. this to me. You don't know. Uh, you're facilitating what needs to be done. Yeah, we have to go and trust on that because it's, it's, sometimes it's so hard. We want to see it. We want to understand it. We want to, you know, have the, like the visual, like you say visuals. I mean, visual, I see some visuals, but the tangibles, which aren't always yeah. possible. It's not always and possible. They keep telling me all the time, even when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with my clients, they will remind, remind them to step out of the 3D, that they have to see it to mm. understand or they have to, it has to make sense for them to release it. It's like, it doesn't work in a higher vibration. Everything is in immediate time. It's all now. So as you see it now, as you acknowledge it now, as you release it now, it's done. Yes. There's no lapsing of time. It's the brain to understand that this can be so immediate. And this is where we have a hard time catching up to that. But as we move into a higher ascension, which is just a conscious awareness, we feel it. And the minute you feel it, you understand it without having to understand it. And this is when everything shifts mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, that makes so much sense to me because I know feeling is what I know I've grounded it in. I can mm -hmm. feel this beautiful energy, this lightness coming in through my back. And look at, there's one comment right now. Angel says, Donna Marie, you are a unique, blessed vessel, vessel of God. Much love, Aww. gratitude, appreciation to you. So glad you're a part of my journey. Huge love to you. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. And thank you for sharing and being here as a beautiful portal of light for all of this. Because yes. you know, <laughs> there is no one greater than another. It's so important for everyone to hear this. Everyone is magnificent in their own light, in their own way, and in their own abilities and their own gifts. So we are all here as a collective to raise each other up and allow that light to be seen and integrated and ignited for the greater good of all, you know, so I'm here facilitating for sure, but never place someone above you or better than you. You know, I just, this is where I'm landed, but we all are incredible beings of light. Yes. All. Yes, I think like that was beautiful said and a good ending. And I just want to, before we say goodbye, I just want to thank everyone who's been in the chat, asking questions, yeah. without free, showing up, just sharing. I really, truly appreciate you. And unfortunately, we didn't reach everyone. So hopefully we can ask Donna Marie one more time to step up and show up one day if you feel called to it. And, and yeah, we'd love her to come another back. One. Yes, we'd For love sure. you to come back. Maybe in the new year. You can be our New Year's gift yeah. to Absolutely. start the new year out. Would you like that, that in January? Well, sure. But then we're, we'll look at January. Well, how about that, Vivica? Yes, uh -huh. we'll, we'll discuss that on the back end. Yeah. We'll do all that. Yeah. And okay. I just wanted to say... A big thank you to everyone being here and creating this space for us. We couldn't do it with people showing up and having this community. So I appreciate everyone showing up. And of course, you, Donna Marie, it's been a blessing. You're truly an you. angel. So thank you so much for, for being here with us. Yes. Quickly, because they're saying, let them know. So I'm like, okay. He's, uh, they're saying that, um, well, he, so there's someone coming through. Okay. So they're saying that um, whoever had questions or were thinking questions, whether they wrote it down or didn't write it down, it has all been heard. It has all been heard. They're saying, oh, no, they were all heard. They're also just need to understand this, that this energy, it, it stays with you for the time that it's meant to support you in whatever way you are meant to be supported by it. I never know how long it's going to be. 
It's very different for each and every individual. Sometimes I work with clients and they'll call me back and they, you know, your energy, the energy that came through, it lasted six months for me and it just ebbed away I'd like another, you know, alignment with you. It's really different for each person. So it was designed for your highest good. Just know that whatever was meant to be facilitated, step out of your mind, allow what is meant to be brought forward, be brought forward and trust. That's the message they want to close with. Trust. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We'll Thank leave it with that. Mean. Trust. Yes. And have a wonderful evening, everyone. Thank you for being here. Yep. Thank you all who have Thank been here. You. All you Thank you. Thank you.